Welcome to your fifth German grammar lesson. In this video, we're dealing with questions, and there's going to be not only an explanation, but also practice and homework and all that good stuff. But if you haven't watched the other videos first, please watch them first so you can understand everything. If you click the I in the top right corner of this video, that'll take you to a playlist with all the full lessons. The link is also in the description box below. Okay, before we're starting, here's all the vocab from the previous lessons. You need to study those so you can follow my exercises easily. It's fine if you haven't memorized them yet. <laughs> you can pause the video for these. These are lessons one and two, and then lesson three, lesson four, and the two quickies that aren't as important for the exercises that we're going to do. Okay, let's start with yes, no questions. You already know about those. Basically, you just invert the subject and the conjugated verb of a sentence. Let's say you have the sentence Anna arbeitet, which means Anna is working or Anna works. How do you make that into a question? Just have Anna, the subject, and arbeitet, the conjugated verb, switch places. Arbeitet Anna? Another common way to ask a question is to actually not invert the subject and the verb, but just leave it as it is and adding the little word oder at the end. Oder means or, but in this case it means more like right. So when you use this type of question, it means you think you already know the answer, but you're not sure and you just want to confirm. It's also kind of like adding doesn't she, you know, Anna works, doesn't she? And answering it goes like this. You can just say ja or nein. But you could also make a complete sentence like this. Ja, Anna arbeitet. Or nein, Anna arbeitet nicht. Or nein, Anna arbeitet nie. But what if you want to ask when does she work or where does she work? You need question words. You already know some of them. You already know was, which means what. For example, was machst du? What are you doing? Wie? How? Wie findet ihr das Essen? How do you, plural, so you guys, find the food? What do you think about the food? Wer? Who? For example, wer will ein Brötchen? Who wants a bread roll? And then wo is a new word, so repeat after me. Wo? Wo ist das Buch? The next one is warum. Why? Warum lernt der Student nicht? Wann? Wann arbeiten Sie morgen? Woher? Woher kommst du? Wohin? Wohin geht ihr? So just to recap, wo means where, but woher and wohin are some other types of where that you don't really have in English. There's a few more like which and whom, but I'm not going to go over those because the lesson would be too long and I want to make shorter lessons now. So the rule is basically, first you put the question word if there is one, then the verb, then the subject, so the person that's doing the action. And there won't be a question word if it's a yes-no question. Like in this example, we have a question word. Let's translate this. So the question is, what are you painting? First the question word, what is was? Then the verb, so to paint means malen. And of course you have to conjugate malen for you, so for du. And that would be malst. And then the subject, which is you, du. Let's do another example. That is a yes-no question. Is Nico sleeping? So, no question word here, so we have to put the verb first, which to sleep means schlafen. It's an irregular verb, and we have to conjugate it for Nico, so for he, which is schläft. And then we add the subject, which is Nico. Schläft Nico? Now let's practice. First, I want you to transform these German sentences into yes-no questions. So in the first one, we have a negation, and that's no problem. It's still really easy. Just switch the subject and the verb like normal and leave that nicht at the end there. So we have das Baby schläft nicht, which means the baby isn't sleeping. So how do you ask, isn't the baby sleeping? Schläft das Baby nicht? Good job. 
Now, Lena isst ein Ei. Lena is eating an egg. How do you ask if Lena is eating an egg? Ist Lena ein Ei? Die Studenten und Studentinnen lernen. The students are studying. And by students, we mean male and female because we said Studenten und Studentinnen. How do you ask, are the students studying? Lernen die Studenten und Studentinnen? Good. Wir kochen morgen. This is the last one. We're going to cook tomorrow. Kochen wir morgen? Good job. You're doing great. Now, go and study your vocab. There was no new vocabulary in this lesson, so you can catch up because in the next lesson, there's more new words to come. After you've studied, try doing this homework. I want you to translate all these questions. Some of them have answers to them, so translate those as well and hand in your homework by putting it in a comment and I will correct it for you. So don't be shy and just try. If you found this video helpful at all, please like it and leave a comment not only with your homework, but also any questions or requests that you might have. Don't forget to subscribe to learn German thoroughly and fast. Bye. Tschüss.